I am back. I am talking about what happened to me today. And yeah, so I'm just waiting for, for the first couple people to show up and I'll start talking about, um, about what happened today. I, um, there's someone. Let me did it. It was on, uh, it was on March 3rd, 2017. And hey, Deb. Um, so, sorry. Hey, Nisha. Um, so I'm sharing the results of my body fat test today. And I will just spoiler alert from the very beginning. I've been fighting back the tears all day. It was not at all what I expected. Um, so if you've been watching my lives, um, you know that I lost my mom two years ago. And after I lost her, it was, I had some health issues of my own and I was depressed. And for six months, I pretty much ate popcorn and candy and cookies and um, and gained a lot of weight really quickly. Like most of my life I've been right around 120 pounds and then you hit, um, you get to be a little bit older and do I feel better? I do, but it's been an emotional struggle today. Um, physically, yes, I feel so much better. Emotionally today, it's been hard, really hard. Um, but anyway, I, um, my friend Karen suggested that I go to Orange Theory two years ago. It was, I think I started right before Christmas, like in the last few days of the year, I started Orange Theory and I've been going for almost two years. Hey, Steven. Um, and um, when I started Orange Theory, if you're not familiar with it, it's like a one hour um, it's not really CrossFit, but it's like a intensive workout where you start on the rowing machine, you go to the weights, and then you go to the treadmill. And in about an hour, you can burn, like my average calorie burn is um, 500 calories or more. And when I started, I was so, I was by far the worst one in the class. Like by far the worst. Like obviously the worst. <laughs> Like so obviously the worst. Um, like when you see videos of people dancing and there's like the one awkward person bumping into everybody and tripping over themselves, that was me. Um, just really, really struggled to get through the workout. And I remember like not even, like I wore my dad's big long um, basketball shorts and a t-shirt because there was no way I was gonna get in those stretchy pants. And it took me like three months just to like feel like I was fit enough and I had lost enough weight just to put on the black stretchy pants. And um, I kept going though because it was, I love the workout because in one hour you feel just like you totally like got, um, oh my God, please make the vlog doing green theory. It's orange theory. I want to do, I will do that. I have to ask permission. I don't know if they always let you film in there, but um, it's three minutes from my house. And if you cancel at the last minute, they charge you $15. So right there was motivation to go. And they rotate, rotate the workouts every day. So you're working out different muscles and it's almost like having a personal trainer because there's only like 30 people in the class and the trainer will correct you if you do the weight movements wrong. And I was really interested in getting some strength back because um, when I started Orange Theory two years ago, I felt like crap. Like, I struggled to get through the day without wanting to take a nap. Every time I ate, um, it would make me tired, struggling with depression because of my mom. And then like depression is like a vicious cycle. So you're depressed so you eat and then you eat and you gain weight and then you become more depressed and you don't even know if the depression is just from physically feeling so bad about you, your health situation or if it's just depression or if it's both just feeding each other. And so I waited three months. Um, this guy comes to Orange Theory every three to six months and it, he has a truck and it's a body fat dunking truck. And so you go, you make an appointment and you go with your swimsuit and your towel and he weighs you 
which was so traumatic. <laughs> and then you get in this big bathtub and you put these weights over your thighs and you have to like push out all of your air and then you plug your nose and you go backwards all the while like you're blowing out candles on a birthday cake and then you go under the water and you continue to blow out as much air as you can as as you can blow out and when you're under the water you like to the point where like he says your veins are bulging and you feel like you're about to drown and so the whole theory is is that um, fat floats and muscle doesn't and it's like one of the most accurate ways to measure your body fat so um, I did that in March March of 2017 and then he gave me like an eating plan and a program and at that time my body fat was 35.2 and I weighed 146 pounds. Um, he has, he gave me this paperwork and they go by your age and if you're male or female, but 35 point, wait, it was 35.6, I think. Um, I was in the poor range. Like there was only one level lower, which was very poor and I was at the top of the poor category. Um, I remember having my body fat tested when I was running track in high school and it was like 17%. So um, body fat is an indicator of how strong you are and like it's good for bone health, it's good for many, many things. And so I continued to go to Orange Theory and went for, it was almost a year and a half Today was almost a year and a half since I got that first body fat um, test. And I have not weighed myself since then because I used to be obsessed with the scales and in my younger days I had a lot of issues with exercising and weighing myself every day and it just wasn't, like I kept my weight down in my 30s and early 40s but I did not do it in a healthy way and so this time I was trying to just like keep health in mind first and and just like get my body healthy so that I was feeling better and just hoping that the weight would follow um, so there's a scale in the lobby of orange theory and my little sister who's this tiny little 108 pound little q-tip she would like get on, she gets on the scale every day after we work out and she's like, don't you want to weigh yourself? And I'm like, heck to the no, I do not want to know. I just like, I just went by how my clothes fit and um, just knowing from like the jeans that I have, like don't we all like save a pair of jeans that like, you know, at this weight you could fit into those jeans. Well, I have several pairs in my closet like that. And so I would just try on those jeans and I'm like, yes, I'm getting closer to that because I know the weight that I was when I fit into these jeans. And so I just figured I was getting closer to that weight. And um, so I would never weigh myself. And my, um, my jeans have gotten a lot looser, like I've gone down two sizes and I've noticed a lot of changes and um, just feeling overall so much more energy. Um, the keto has helped me, like the depression is pretty much completely gone, the energy is great, my overall mood is fantastic, and just a lot stronger, lifting heavier weights over the last year and a half. And so I was really excited to go get my body fat tested. I made the appointment last week, and I went this morning thinking, I'm, you know, minimum I've lost at least 10 pounds, and I was thinking more like 15 to 18 pounds. Well, I got on the scale and I have lost 4.8 pounds, not even five pounds. And I've lost 2.6% body fat. And I was so disappointed. Like I, my first thought was your scale must not be right. And this is rigged. And um, it just did not make any sense. Like people have been telling me, oh, you look like you lost a bunch of weight. and um, I was just like extremely disappointed and I, I, it really doesn't make sense to me because like I remember I went and bought a, a black pair of board shorts because I, there was no way I was going to wear a bikini to get my body fat tested the first time and um, I bought the board shorts and 
they were tight on me and then they ended up being way too big on me so I had to buy a smaller pair which I wore um, when I went to Hawaii last year which were tight on me which are totally loose on me now and um, yeah not even five pounds and I'm like how could I go down two sizes and have lost 4.8 pounds in a year and a half so I don't know maybe his scales were wrong I'm gonna I think I am gonna weigh myself on the orange theory scales tomorrow and see if there's a big difference between his scales and um, the ones at orange theory and yeah I wish I would have measured myself but I didn't and so um, yeah I do not know I am just like I was driving home and fighting back the tears and just like what the heck and um, you know he like he suggested counting calories which I hate doing and I don't count my macros either and there's like a whole my fitness pal and different ways to track but I honestly like I hate that I hate any kind of tracking like I have to do so much with my business and the bookkeeping and the balancing of the checkbook the last thing I want to do is track more stuff um, but I may I may do a little bit of that because I do not want to take like my goal to get back to the weight I was means that I would have to lose at least another 20 pounds and that would take like five years if I keep going at the rate I'm going now so anyway that's um, that's my story for tonight um, yeah and like there there is the whole theory that muscle weighs more than fat but according to his chart I've only lost 2.6 percent body fat so I don't know my goal is to be like back to 120 pounds and right now I am 141.4 according to his stupid idiotic scales um, yeah so I don't know I still think it's rigged <laughs> I'm sticking to that story right now um, but anyway I put out a new video on Monday it's the shibori chair if you haven't watched it I'm gonna put the link below I would love it if you would watch it and share it because when I used to share my YouTube videos before they would reach 30,000 people and now they're reaching like seven or eight thousand people Facebook is also very challenging um, I'm gonna read all your comments when I hang up I'm seeing a lot of comments and maybe um, no I wouldn't look sick at 120 pounds that's the weight that I've been most my life um, so I just it's you know it's there's health health reasons why I want to get to that weight I'm 5'4 um, and I just I that is the weight that I want to be and usually when I set my mind to it I am hell-bent to do it so I will figure out a way to get there um, yeah so I'm gonna read all your comments let me know if you've had any similar frustrations and if you have any advice or input I would love to hear it um, it's just been emotionally it's been a hard day but I am like I have been feeling so I know it is harder as we age um, and I have like for the last four weeks I've just been feeling really good about um, my overall health how I feel how my clothes are fitting um, my energy level like my emotional state has just been really even and just um, like the depression that would just come and go throughout my whole life is pretty much has been pretty much gone for the last four or five weeks um, which is amazing so so many things to be grateful for and I know like after I just get over the initial shock I'll calm down and feel better <laughs> but um, I just wanted to share because it's just the honest truth of how I'm feeling right now and um, yeah so yeah I know I know that a pound of fat takes up more space than a pound of muscle I, I think I might Google how much 2.6 pounds of fat how much space that takes up and maybe I'll feel better um, yeah so I'm gonna sign off for now check out my video if you have time and I will see you tomorrow I'll come back tomorrow with a story all right thanks for watching thank you